Hi, I'm Tracy Worcester from Farms Not Factories and I'm going to explain to you why I'm going to be voting for the Labour Party and not the usual Green Party. The former Green Party leader said that the Greens and Labour, led by Corbyn, are similar, but the Greens are also against a growth economy on a finite planet. I.e. the Greens are more radical than Labour, but they won't win on our first past the post voting system. With the threat of ecological collapse, we really cannot have more years of a Tory government that lets the corporations and banks dictate the rules of the game in a global casino. Corbyn is a Benite and has a great deal of common sense. Not least, he said no to getting involved in the US wars in Iraq, Afghanistan, Iraq II, Libya, Yemen and Syria. In line with European countries, he will increase corporation tax and increase tax primarily for the very wealthiest 5% of the population to pay for a massive change towards social and environmental justice. Johnson's shameful ecological ignorance was proved by his refusal to speak alongside the other party leaders at the climate crisis debate on ITV last Thursday. Labour will introduce a green economy known as the Green New Deal. It will be paid for by forcing corporations and millionaires to pay their taxes in full, like 99% of the population. The Green New Deal includes getting rid of university tuition fees, increasing numbers of teachers, nationalising key industries so that profits will not be siphoned to CEOs and shareholders. And most importantly for me, will promote whole farm agroecology, putting local food at the centre of UK's food and farming and ensuring that our precious skilled farmers don't get outcompeted by cheap imports. And I will quote from the Labour Party manifesto. We will put farmers, fishers, food producers and workers at the heart of our plans for delivering healthy food locally. We will support local food networks, expand access to farm holdings and ensure rights of union representation for all food and agricultural workers. We will establish an agricultural wages board in England so every part of the UK is covered." End quote. He will also devise a Brexit deal that will give people a more protectionist economy in the UK, as opposed to Tories' Brexit, continued globalisation of trade and finance, or we can simply vote to remain in the EU. That is democracy. He will put people and environment before profit. He will refuse to let Julian Assange be extradited to the US, where he will never be seen or heard of again. The extradition of this publisher, whose record is of 100% accuracy, will stop any future journalist or newspaper daring to shine a light on US or any governments, war crimes, illegal mass surveillance, and state and corporate corruption. The Tories' mantra of so-called free trade is a massive lie, as the market is heavily subsidised. Our taxes are poured into the military-industrial complex. This is regime change, skullduggery and wars. Our taxes are given in direct corporate handouts in the name of winning the global competition. And our taxes are used to clean up the costs of externalising the true cost of its global economy on the health of people and our finite planet. I believe that economically and ecologically our future will be safer and happier with the cooperation, compassion and conflict resolution set out by Corbyn and McDonald's Labour. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.